Hey everybody, today I'm going to be sharing a funny story with you about my jet lag. And also we're going to be going to the studio for the first time in a long time, so that's good. I left Billund on Saturday. I got to the airport nice and early because I wanted to deal with my customs forms and get my uh, VAT tax back. So I got there at 7, but my flight wasn't, I got there at like 7.15, but my flight wasn't until about 10, 15, so pretty early. But they're three hours early, which is a little bit ridiculous. And the funny thing about flying from Denmark back to Canada is you pretty much like fly back in time. Is, for example, I got to the airport at 7, and I went on a nine-hour flight and an hour-and-a-half flight plus a three-hour layover. It's like a full day of travel. And I got home at 2 p.m. So it's technically only been four hours, but realistically, I had been traveling all day. And then when you get home, it's like, okay, I've got to do everything in my power to not fall asleep early. Otherwise, you're going to have like a severe case of jet lag and you just won't correct that jet lag, right? So I did that. The first night, I managed to stay up till like 10 p.m., which was technically 6 a.m. billing time. So it was like 6 a.m. for me. I'm like super tired. And I, I woke up at my normal time and I was like, yes, jet lag solved. No more issues with that. Cool. So Sunday, which was yesterday, I just worked at the kitchen table here. I set up my laptop and I was uh, editing and sorting all of the footage that I obtained while I was in Billund, which is a big job because I had like, I don't know, close to 100 gigabytes of footage, which is just an obscene amount, especially when you're filming in 1080p, not 4K. So I sorted all that and I edited my Recklink Designer Program video, which is the Wave 3 video. I voiced over all that. And then for the most part, I uh, hung out with the kids all day. For example, before I was doing the editing, we went to a park that's around here. We hung out there for a couple hours, and then I was just hanging out with the kids all day because it's not really fair for me to be like, hey, kids, I'm back from vacation. All right, I'm going to work. So I hung out at home all day and just hung out at the kitchen table and edited here. So then it was that night, and I was like, okay, I'm doing good. And then like 5 o'clock rolled around, and I was like, okay, I'm super-duper tired, jet-lagged. Uh oh, and they're just like, oh, I'll just go for a nap. Let's go for like an hour nap or whatever it may be. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, I don't know though. I'm scared. If I go for an hour nap, I might fall asleep and you might not be able to wake me up because that's the way I am. If I don't get like eight hours of sleep, you ain't waking me up. So I'm like, okay, I went for a one hour nap. I woke up this morning at 4 a.m. <laughs> I did not wake up. And I remember the kids were like, when they were getting ready for sleep, they were like crawling all over me, ah, trying to wake me up. Jose is trying to wake me up. Wake up. I'm like, no, I can't. I'm sleeping. And that's it. Because Jose and I, we were supposed to watch The Joker, like the, the Joker movie, because tonight we're actually going to a premiere. Uh, Warner Bros. actually invited us to a premiere of The Joker 2. So we wanted to refresh our mind because we'd only seen the Joker, the first Joker once and it was when it was in theaters. So we hadn't seen it for a very long time. So we wanted to refresh our mind and rewatch that so that we knew what we were going into for the Joker too. So Jose watched it on her own while I was sleeping. And now it's 5 a.m. because I've, whatever, just been doing some stuff here this morning. And I'm probably gonna watch the Joker this morning at 5 a.m. So I think it's like a two hour and 20 minute movie or a two hour movie or something. So I'm gonna watch a movie from five until 7 a.m. And I can tell you confidently that I've never done that in my entire life. <laughs> so it's gonna be something different. And then tonight we're going to see Joker 2 in IMAX invited by Warner Bros. How cool is that? Excellent. I'm also gonna be going back to the studio unpacking all my stuff that I bought in Dillon and getting ready for the next project in the studio. But I still have like three videos I need to edit from footage that I obtained when I was in Billund. There's a Lego Campus tour, which I wanna, I just filmed silently because I felt awkward filming in that, in that place. So I wanted to voice over that. Then there's also the Masterpiece Gallery at the 
uh, Lego house. I was there when they switched over the masterpiece gallery. So I have all silent video of that and I need to dub that all over. Is there one more? And there's one more that I can't remember here bright and early in the morning. So it's either I take care of that stuff today or I go to the studio and start working on like a city project. I probably should go to the studio and start working on a city project, but I also should probably just get that, all that billing stuff done with, you know, like wrap all that up. So it's, so it's like good to go. Either way, I guess I'll figure that out later on today after the Joker. Why is it that when you have kids, this becomes your story? <laughs> Just like cups and bottles and stuff everywhere. It's easier to leave that stuff overnight so it can just dry. But also our kids like eat nonstop, like constantly. So there's just like food everywhere. Food everywhere. This is not how old Jordan operated, believe me. This stuff was always put where it belonged, but the kids, they eat a lot, nonstop, I tell you. You have this stuff, bam, at the ready. Got my coffee here, so I'm having a hard time committing to watching The Joker right now, because, like, I could work. Work or watch The Joker. I really should watch The Joker, though, because we're going to see the second one, and I've only seen the first one once. So I feel like I need his backstory again in order to truly appreciate the Joker 2. I can't pronounce the title of the Joker 2, so I'm just going to call it the Joker 2. It's something weird. It's got an accent in it, like Jose's name. Jose's name has an accent in it too. I still have a hard time pronouncing that. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, okay? Uh, I'm going to watch it though. I'll give it a shot. Let's do it. Let's grab my coffee lid. And let's go. It's funny, when you have kids, your tolerance for mess goes like through the roof. I used to be like crazy. I'd be like, what is all this stuff doing on the counter here? What is this? Ah, get this stuff away. It's driving me crazy. Like I was like totally OCD, like seriously. Like I can say OCD because I probably was. But now that I have kids, it's just like, Whatever, there's going to be stuff all over the floor within an hour anyway. Who cares? They live with it. You know what I mean? Like, it does not matter. It's like, I don't want to drive myself nuts trying to clean up things in the small amount of free time that I have after cleaning up after the kids and going to work and, and doing all this different stuff. Or do I want to just learn to live with it? My tolerance level has gone through the roof <laughs> compared to what it used to be, honestly. Luna, you gonna come watch the Joker with me? Or are you just here because you want to be fed? I'm not feeding you at five in the morning. It's too early for breakfast. Cause then you'll just be hungry for dinner even earlier. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You can come down here and watch the Joker with me. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. I forgot how insanely dark this movie is. Like, it is deep. Wow. Well, there you go. That's how you crush a movie before sunrise. I'm excited about Joker Folle Adu, Madness of Two, I believe it is. Ah, it's gonna be great. Wow, that movie was so dark. Kids, don't watch the movie, all right? <laughs> This is for your parents if you're a kid watching this video. Holy smokes, I forgot how crazy that movie is. Wow, I can't believe I'm seeing the second one tonight. Pretty excited about that. No regrets re-watching it. I think that was very important. I can't believe I've watched a movie and my day hasn't even begun. How cool is that? Well, it feels good to be back, everybody. I made it safely to the studio here. I had to make one stop along the way. I had to go to Canadian Tire and pick up a new battery for my wife's car. Turns out her battery died while I was away, so I had to take care of that this morning. When I go back home, I'll pop that battery back into her car, which is good. Get that all figured out. Now, I need to 
spend some time here and just get all this stuff organized because I packed up all my camera equipment. So I need to get that stuff all put away. And then I also got a bunch of stuff while I was in building. So I need to unpack this box and that suitcase and sort of disperse this stuff to where it needs to go. Otherwise it'll just sit here. So I feel like I should take charge this morning and deal with all of that. Sort of left this place a little bit of a mess. Not really though. It's just parts that I need to use and a bunch of recycling that I need to get rid of. Looks like Mrs. Brixie was here because she's got the pillow and br blanket right there for extra comfort. So she was here doing some behind the scenes stuff while I was away, which was cool. Just like doing some paperwork and reporting and stuff like that. Ah, it feels good to be back. I've got all these parts that we need to start using and start developing those mountains like crazy. Got a ton of parts ready to go for that. So that's going to be the project here over the next three, four months, using all these parts. There's a lot of them. Need to get the base structures for the mountains all built. And I also need to cut all the wood platforms and get those installed. So that's what I'm going to be prioritizing this week. I still need to take care of some file transfers though, because I actually forgot my memory card reader here. So now that I have my memory card reader back, I can transfer all the files from one of my main cameras that I was using over there in Billund and I can get all those files sorted and organized and ready to go. So yeah, just got to do some like housekeeping stuff today. I don't know if I'm going to have time to like start filming and start building a giant mountain in the Lego city or start millsplating the entire amusement park because I need to get that done. But first I need to take care of all of this other stuff just I'm getting back to work today. I need to get all my ducks in a row before I start like cracking into a giant build project. Well, let's see how this goes. I've got to say that tidying up and cleaning all this stuff up is actually taking way less time than I thought it would. So that's good. I might have time for a project today, or at least start one. Hmm. Not bad. So this was 13 cups. The boxes. Maybe I should have got more. But seeing as I didn't get the right bat receipts, I don't regret not getting more. Because I think it costs like $35 a box compared to 22 Not ideal. <laughs> this is what it is. Bam. So... Legoland already messaged me back saying they're not going to refund my VAT tax. Now I'm just waiting to hear back from the Lego house. I hope the Lego house one goes through. Maybe. You'd think I'd have some clout with them. We'll see. I don't really know what to work on today. I was thinking mountains or raised platform or I can continue Mills construction in the amusement parks. That's probably what I'm going to do just because I want to get the mills plates going throughout this entire city. That's my goal. It's my goal. I want to get it all mills plated like this, and then I can start adding all the deets. You know what I like about this place? I'm in 100% control of this bad boy right over here. Not General Grievous. The thermostat. <laughs> I've got it at 16 degrees. Yeah, not very warm. I'm thinking about firing it up. What do you think? No, I, I think 16 is warm enough. Like, I'm not like cold in here. When I'm on the move, drinking a warm beverage, like, I don't get cold. I'm good to go. Yeah, so I've decided that I'm going to start constructing amusement park mills plates today. I know, I know that's sort of boring, but it's just got to get done. You know, like over here, it's white and gray and green it doesn't look good i think if this was all white gray and it was all mills plates so that i can actually start laying tiles and placing rides and, and getting the details going i think i'm going to feel happy about that i know i could start building my base construction for the mountains and i could start cutting platforms and doing that major stuff that's going to have like a major impact on the city but 
I just need to sit down and get these mills plates built so that I know it's taken care of so that when I start working on those other major projects, I know that that small stuff is taken care of. Plus it also speeds up the process of building because if I take an entire day and I just sit there and I assembly line a ton of mills plates, I crush them out like pretty fast. Whereas if I'm like, okay, let's start doing this project. Okay, the first thing we need to do is build a mills plate. Ah, oh, okay, I gotta build the mills plate. It takes a little bit longer and it, it adds another process to that project. For example, if I'm building a mountain and I've gotta build a mills plate for the huge mountain, that just adds another step to that. Whereas if everything is pre-built, ready to go, I just think it expedites the process a little bit, if that makes sense. It's almost like an assembly line style. Oh, all right, all the mills plates are ready to go. Now we can continue building. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna focus on. I have the parts to do it too, so I may as well take care of it. Well, the good news is, is it's 3.30 and I'm not tired yet. Maybe I'll fall asleep in the Joker too though. Let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> that would not be good. But I finished mill splitting the entire amusement park and I discovered that all my three quarter inch stuff is at home, so I can't even start putting wood platforms in. So I'm gonna go home. Yeah, didn't really get much done today. Huh. I built a copious amount of mills plates. But I wanna go home before rush hour because our babysitter, that's my mom, thank you so much mom. She's coming by at like 4.35, which is like an hour and a half from now. I can say hello to the kids and be like, yo, what's up, how you doing? Mrs. Brixie, let's go. We're going to the Joker too. And I'm sure we'll probably grab a bite to eat somewhere too, at the food court or something like that. Sure we could swindle that for this exciting little night out we got here, which works out because I was away for a week. It's just like perfect timing, everybody. Plus tomorrow is October 1st. So tomorrow I'm going to the Lego store. For what reason, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going, because it's new issue day. There's a bunch of cool stuff coming up. The wreath, the poinsettia, the Batman 1966 Batmobile. The Star Wars stuff doesn't come out until October 3rd, I don't think. But yeah. I may as well go home, beat rush hour, and then go from there. Ooh, I should bring my laptop home. So I've got to do that footage, that editing. Yeah, good thing I had a little of the conversation with you. <laughs> I'm going to go get that laptop so I can edit from here now that I've actually transferred all those files from like all the designer interviews and stuff that I had. Good thing I remembered. So I'm going to see a movie about two crazy people, and I just pointed out the fact that I'm having a conversation with you right now. <laughs> a conversation with you is currently my camera. Maybe I'm the crazy person. <laughs> I also wanted to install the new battery in the baby mobile because anytime this vehicle isn't operational, we're sort of putting our kids at risk because if something were to happen to them, they'd be trapped at home. So yeah, getting that installed was rather important. It's the moment of truth, everybody. Am I also a mechanic on the side? <laughs> Why pay somebody to put a new battery in? It's the simplest thing ever. I'm not proud of myself. What do you think, stinky number one and stinky number two? What are you looking for, Millie? What's back there? Oh. Oh, are those lightsabers? Well, why'd you put them back there? Millie, do you want the lightsaber? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> she wants it desperately here. <gasps> I can't reach it. I can't use the force. I can't get it. Ah, I'm sorry. We'll have to move the couch. Check it out, we got a little swag bag. What do you got there, Jose? Got a little crew neck. A little sweater. Oh, the Joker, nice. Okay, okay. Looks like we got some posters. We can put those in our bedroom above our bed. Perfect. 
Look, they're dancing down the stairs together. Some, some hairspray. Some hairspray. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait to try that hairspray out. Hey. Oh, yeah. This is nice. <laughs> This be is a nice matching. It'd be real cute. Should be rocking. Should be rocking. That would be funny. Little Joker crew neck. I was thinking to myself, I need to throw like a Batman shirt on or something. And I was going through the wardrobe and I didn't have any. You don't have a Batman one. I have no, I have no DC at all. No. Nope. That's a fail. Well, I'm back from the movie and it's actually the next day. It's October 1st. I actually started the today off at the Lego store because there was a bunch of new stuff. So I went shopping and that was pretty cool. Did I need to go shopping? No, probably not. What are my thoughts on Joker 2? I think it's what? really well done. The acting is excellent. The like settings and effects and everything, fantastic. But overall, I am disappointed with the direction that they decided to go with the Joker character. And I'm just disappointed. Like it was good, but once again, DC sort of letting me down. Thank you so much Warner Brothers for inviting us to the premiere. That, that was super cool. That was an experience. We saw it in IMAX. It's definitely worth seeing in IMAX because the visuals and the acting was so good. But in general, I'm a little bit let down by what they decided to do with the film and the Joker character so after i uh went to the lego store this morning because it's october 1st of course i was there <laughs> and i uh, came back here and i did some vacuuming i vacuumed all the nooks, nooks and crannies and then i also fired up my robotic vacuum so he's going around right now and, and doing all the major vacuuming so thank you so much for that i like keeping this place neat and tidy it's a little e little bit easier keeping this place neat and tidy because i don't have pets and tiny humans running around so all I have to do is control the bugs with the, with the bug traps because there seems to be a lot of them at the front entrances uh, by like the vents and stuff and then I just have to uh, continue to vacuum however I have been meaning to go around with my spray bottle and spray the floor where I have like these weird spots and take my scraper and scrape all this stuff off up because I guarantee all this stuff will come off so I just need to go around and and do that. It's just like the original grime of this place. Plus there's like some paint splatters and stuff. So I need to do that. But I'm also trying to like build a Lego city and I want to prioritize that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Today I've got a bunch of editing to do for my Lego store video and this video and I didn't bring that melamine today because my car is loaded full of stuff. So I've got to unpack all that. And I know I needed to have an empty car for that. But then tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to bring the melamine here and I'm going to build these platforms, which will be good. But yeah, that's really about it. Just a little behind the scenes vlog of me coming back from Billund and checking out the Joker premiere and getting over my jet lag, which is officially taken care of. So that's good. And now I'm back in the studio and I'm ready to embark on a huge journey of building the Lego city this month. There's going to be a lot of progress that I, that I uh, make in the month of October because we have the parts to do it. Now I just need to juggle all these different balls uh, of doing like whatever, building sets, working on the city, uploading, whatnot, streams advertising and promotion and all this different stuff. So I just need to make sure I balance and, and of course hanging out with my family and, and all that. So just need to make sure I balance all of these things so that everything gets taken care of slowly over time. Yeah. But for now I'm vacuuming and editing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe and stay tuned. Farewell.